So hello everybody, it's me, Wendy Lung, Holistic Health Mentor. Um, I am here speaking with a very special guest today. This is Dr. Jason Godo, and he is here because he's organized something really amazing for next week that we wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about. And, um, and that is the uh, Irritable Bowel Summit. And it's running next week from, Mon is it Monday? Monday uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday, okay. So Tuesday to Thursday, July, 20th to 22nd yep. and uh, and we'll get into the details for that in a little bit but first I just wanted to be able to introduce Jason as well so like I said this is Dr. Jason Do um, Godo <laughs> he is a chiropractor he's a registered nurse and um, his career path has taken him through all sorts of different things I'll let him talk to you a little bit about that hey Wendy thank you so much it's a pleasure to meet your audience um, and I want you all to know Wendy is my sneak peek guest speaker at, from the summit because she's so awesome. So you guys have such a wonderful person working with you and I love her too. Um, but thank you for having me. And yeah, I had this crazy, I mean, I still have some ideas, no joke. I still have a herbal bowel myself. I actually had salsa two nights ago and I think the onion didn't, wasn't too good for me. Uh -oh. And it woke me up at around 4.30 and you know, you still had to work the, the same day, but I ended up going to Costa Rica like 10 years ago for a vacation and, you know, don't drink the water, don't drink the water. You're not supposed to drink the water if you're not from there because you're not used to the bugs in it. Well, so I did all bottled water and all of a sudden you're at an all-inclusive and you're having breakfast and they have this great section where they have fresh papaya juice, fresh mango juice, fresh yeah. orange juice in those things where you like put your cup up, you push the lever and it disperses into the cup. I'm like, oh yeah, well, who's not going to get fresh juice, right? So I push it up there, I'm getting juice and I'm drinking it. About 9 p.m. that night, all hell broke loose, literally, the porcelain with it. And if you guys are in Costa Rica and you have a hotel room, I just want you to know there is no insulation. So you're praying that the people next to you are not listening. Yeah, I know, this is really bad. It's very disturbing. But after that happened to me, I was sick for like a week and I got better. Oh, but hold it, on. you know, I think I'm, I've lost your. Oh, am I back? No, sorry. I, <laughs> I, I think you still have your audio. I lost your audio. Never mind. Oh, sorry. Okay. We're... Go ahead. Yeah, no problem. And you know, I, I got better. It took about nine days, and then all of a sudden. Nine months about later, I'm like lactose intolerant. I've never been lactose intolerant. I'm starting to get gas and bloating. You know, I'm in a chiropractor. I'm in a small room treating patients. You can't be having gas in a small room with patients, people, you know? So I didn't know what it was. And you're not talking to people about this. You know, you're literally suffering in silence because you want to tell your parents or your loved ones, or your brothers and sisters or your neighbor or whoever you're living with a roommate, like, oh, I'm not feeling well again, or oh, I have, you know, this happening, or oh, that. And I discovered in my patients that normally come to see me neck and back pain as a chiropractor that there's a ton of people suffering in silence with IBS. They're thinking one time going number two a week is okay. I'm like, where is all that food? And they look great. You know, they look like Wendy. They look amazing. They're like, how can you be that skinny and go one time a week? Uh, there might be something wrong here, or they have tons of loose stool, or they have gas and bloating, or they have skin reactions. And I'm like, there's a lot more to this than people are talking about, and I'm suffering with them. So then I went a journey to find great people like you to say, I need help. I don't have the answers. And look, I've been to, you know, like chiropractic school, I'm a registered nurse. I still wasn't getting the right answers because I wasn't getting the right coach. Meaning I play a ton of tennis. How do you get better faster? you find someone to mentor or coach you there, coach you to get there. And I didn't want to keep spending money. My supplement cabinet was a joke. I mean, it's like pack stacked wide, like everything's expiring. You're not taking it anymore. I'm like, I, can't, I need to figure this out. I can't quit, keep spending money. I need to find the right person. I just need to get there faster and do it better than what I'm doing today. Because I was just hodgepodge, you know, like buy this. Oh, I saw that, buy this. Oh, I heard on Facebook, try that. I'm like, okay. Peace feeling wasn't working. And I said, I need to bring people together because this is a huge, huge problem. And I happened to see Wendy speaking on her YouTube channel. I'm like, she's it. 
I have to have her. And thank you so much for joining me. It was such a pleasure. And I ended up having you on the summit and you did a great job in your interview. And you were talking about how your high achieving, nurturing personality impacts your IBS. And it was such a wonderful presentation. I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about that with your audience. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, if, if you've been following me for a while, then you would probably have seen me talk about this topic a little bit, but it is one of my favorite topics to talk about. And, um, and I specifically chose this topic to talk about in the seminar, how your high achieving nurturing personality impacts your IBS, because it's a little bit off to the side from what we usually talk about, right? Jason got into, uh, you know, his personal IBS story. He talked about the, how, how he, got IBS from, you know, a bacterial infection from the food poisoning, and then, and then it stuck around. And so oftentimes when we're searching for our, uh, you know, our solutions, we're always looking at, okay, well, what can I eat? Right. Or like, what supplements can I take? Like Jason said, um, and, and we're very food focused. And then when we start to sort of zoom out, then we take a look at stress. And I've talked a lot about stress as well, your mental, emotional component that um, really impacts your IBS. And um, and so then we say, okay, well, how can we work with our stress levels? But then when we want to take a look at the long-term healing, when we want to really look at what does full recovery look like, you know, what does IBS with um, IBS free with no symptoms look like, you know, the way that, that I live or the way that, um, you know, my Conquer IBS clients live is that's what, that's where we want to get to ultimately. Right. And part of that is shifts within your lifestyle, which is related back to your personality. And so we talk about, okay, what are we prone to as high achievers? What are we prone to as, um, as nurturers? What are those, you know, it's an awesome personality type, but at the same time, there's definitely some deficiencies like there's with everybody else where, you know, we have a tendency to, um, to certain traits that are damaging a little bit to our gut health, damaging to our health. And so that's what we get into. That's what we talk about um, on the IBS summit. And so it's the Irritable Bowel Summit and it's online and it's free. And Jason has brought together so many different people, so many different perspectives on IBS to be able to um, help support you guys, right? So um, this is, if you want to talk about like when it's happening and, and how are people- Oh, gonna, sure. Yeah. And yeah, it's July 20th through the 22nd. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there are seven speakers each day. So you break it up so you have time to watch. And literally a lot of people are, they can't watch this because some people are working, but some people will watch at work. Yep. <laughs> and you can actually upgrade. There's an all access pass, which includes some bonus material that can go along with it, the speakers and with the entire summit. That's $67 pre-registration. It'll end uh, Thursday night, but it will still be accessible. There'll still be a way to access it. And each one of these speakers, you can connect with, meaning there's 21 different personalities, there's 21 different ideas, everyone has a different topic, but someone, you're gonna look at them and just go, you know what, they're, they're talking to me. They're gonna have something that you say, I'm gonna try that idea. You go use it for a couple of weeks and you're just like, whoa, I have 25, 50% improvement and I didn't even know I could do that from their advice. And then he's like, you know what, I want more. And all you have to do is go back, find out who they are, contact them and say, look, I want that coaching mentor to get me there faster. I don't want to waste time and money. I want to get there faster. And my favorite part about Wendy is if you've noticed how we speak, I'm super fast. I talk a lot. <laughs> and when she was speaking to me about the liver and the spleen people, and I said, look, this is why Wendy's IPS is gone. Jason still has some stuff to work on because he's like, go stress. You know, I'm talking very fast. But if you want to look at the, even the contrast here, when he is nicely balanced and, you know, I may not be yet. yet. I'm getting there. I will get there, everybody. But yeah, it's next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the Irritable Bowel Summit. We'd love to have you guys there. Registration is free. It's free. So it's completely free to watch. There's nothing you have to pay for and you can find some answers. We would love to have you there and see you inside. 
Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to drop the link to register below in the comments. And if you guys are around and this resonates with you, I would invite you guys to just say hi in the comments as well. We'll be back to say hi to you. Um, hopefully you join us next week in the summit, because like Jason said, there's a lot of different people there and there's a lot of different perspectives and something may really, really resonate with you. And who knows, right? You might watch my seminar and you might say, oh my God, this is definitely me and I'm ready, you know, now to make a shift and I want to work with you. So whatever that is, um, I want you to have the opportunity to get as much information about IBS as you possibly can and work with what resonates with you, because that's how we all are as humans, right? We, we have a, a resonant match. We have an energetic vibration. And if someone you connect with, you want to work with them. Amazing. So again, next week, Tuesday, um, July 20th to Thursday, July 22nd, virtual online free. I'm going to drop the link in the comments below. And I hope that you join us there. Jason, thank you so much for taking the time to be with thank us. You. And thank you so much for taking the time to organize the summit as well. It's really amazing to have something that's very IBS specific out there for people. Awesome. We love you. <laughs> All right. Have a good day.